doing everybody welcome back to another episode of the council can you hear my footprints maybe well, we're back and we're in the crypt catacombs whatever you want to call it and we are looking for my mama bandages hmm someone's been patching themselves up my mom like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages huh nice the silk she must have used her own clothes <gasps> Um, I hope this isn't something stupid. Hmm. There are patches where the blood isn't totally clotted. That's a good sign, right? She changed them recently, which proves she's still looking after herself and still believes in her chances. Nice. Well, I'd love to tell her to keep hanging in there. Hang in there, Mom. I'm coming, don't worry. Watch out. Coins. Oh crap, who the hell is this? Is that Washington? Oh no, okay. Whew. It's one of the uh, servants. Damn it, mother. Now what's happened? She's killing everybody. She's worse than me. That's Washington. You can tell by his shoes. Oh, no. Oh, why do I always end it right before a stupid thing? I could have found someone important in the crypt. I could have convinced Piaget to reveal some more information. I could have eavesdropped on the conversation between Piaget and Wolner. I could have inspired Peru to trust me. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get all the XP we need for this one. Well, damn. Into the lion's den. That is the end of episode number two. Wow. Freaking awesome. And we don't know who's behind us. I think it's George Washington. What are your guys' guess? You think it was Washington? Remember the dress shoes. And it's not Peru because he's got tiny feet, and it wasn't um, Piaget because he's got the robe. And I guess it could have been Von Wolner, but I doubt it was thinking it was him. It can't be Emily, not in that outfit. Mm -hmm. Well, that's coming soon. When? Episode 2, Episode 3 coming soon well well we have number three. Oh. the only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed in your opinion why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks you must leave me alone now I have agreed to everything even to but you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. You're all out to I get me. I hope that your search will prove successful and bring Sarah back to us soon. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. Whoa. Okay, so we got a couple more things that we can do. We can't do that one. Linguistics, occultism. We have two we can do. I'm going to do occultism, and I think I might do linguistics. Like, logic would be good, but I think linguistics might be the way to go in this case let's go all right so who the hell is behind me now we get to find out who it was I bet you it's my mom dressed up as uh, William Shatner or whatever his name is the 
Louis. <gasps> Louis, the conference is about to start any minute. This is not the time to be gallivanting around Damn with it. dead bodies. What's going on? Uh, I, I don't know exactly, Mr. President. I was looking for my mother and I, I came upon this body. My God. You don't think Sarah did it, do you? Mm. Well, we have enough to do Mr. it. Mr. President, you really shouldn't get involved. Please be on your way. I'll take care of this. You didn't come this way and you didn't see anything. You're right. It's for the best. If Sarah did that, I don't know what kind of hornet's nest she's kicked open. But I do wish you luck, my friend. Thank you, Mr. President. Ah, oh, darn. The conference is starting. Okay. Time is of the essence. Sort this out and join us as quickly as you can in the conference room. Everyone will be expecting you. Yes. Mr. President, this is not really the right time, and I, I didn't come for that. Your mother's seat cannot remain vacant. You must replace her while she's still missing. Damn Your it. mother and I were to support Mortar on this project. I don't know what the subject is, but the future of our countries depends on it. Given the importance of all this to Mortimer, he won't let the conference begin without you. Damn. So if you don't want more servants coming looking for you, I'd advise you to join us quickly and to put a brave face on it. All right. The best favor you can do for yourself, Louis, and for Sarah, is to come and support Mortimer's project at the conference. Um, I gotta keep him on my side. We're not doing too well with uh, friends when you looked at the amount of people that were Don't involved worry. in things. You can count on me, Mr. President. I shall help you with Mortimer's project as soon as I've finished up here. Good, Louis. Sarah would be proud of you. I'll stall them while you're on your way, but make haste. I'm going. Don't All right, dude. Tell them that I'm on my way. Hmm, crap. Oops, don't go that way. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, no what shit. What's been going on here? Hmm. Let's see what secrets hidden under these masks. He's burnt. His face doesn't ring a bell. I'm a bit disappointed. Oh, they didn't show me. I'd have expected more from Lord Mortimer. <laughs> what was that? A key with an occult air symbol. Uh, Mother, away. if this is your doing, the situation is getting worse and worse. This is where she's been sleeping. Someone's made a fire here. And the ashes are still warm. Whoa. If you're the one who did it, Mother, it couldn't have been easy with only one hand. Uh. An old blanket. From the looks of it, it couldn't have kept her very warm. Leftover food. <gasps> uh, not exactly fresh. Must have been here for a while. Okay, got one of those. Well, the gate is locked. Yeah, okay. So we can't do anything there. We got the blanket, we got the ashes, we got the bread. And then we got this dude. And that was it, right? There's nothing else we could do. What the hell are we supposed to do here now? He's dead. Yeah, what no the kidding. What's going on here? Science level plus one. I kind of want to inspect it, but. Somebody smashed it in the back of his head with something. He slowly bled to death. That isn't what killed him. It broke his neck. Holy crap. Okay, so that that Mother, there's no way that could have been this mom. This is your doing. The situation is getting worse and worse. She's got one hand. There's no way. Like she could have smashed him in the head, yeah, but to break his neck, like to snap someone's neck, dude, that ain't easy. So I don't think we're gonna find anything else here. 
So I think we gotta get back up here. What the hell is that? A key with the occult earth symbol on it. Golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. Yes, I will. Any more hidden things around here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, wait a minute. It said find more clues about mom, and then it switched over to this. Can we go back down there? Or is it going to say, no, you're not allowed? Because that means we would have missed something then. Yeah, we missed it. Because we didn't find any more clues, but we lifted everything we could, as far as I know. Oh my god, so much running around freaking bushes and crap. Where do I go? But she kept saying E in her letters. And we're here and we gotta go to... How do I get to the conference room? His death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. Hi. Monsieur Dorichet, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. This door? Okay. Thanks for the heads up, by the way, dude. I appreciate that, my man. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. Uh oh, look at those nice comfortable chairs. That's what came out of the ground. Talk to other people first. Fragment of amber. Nice. We even got more stuff. Cool. Chinese coin. Uh huh. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna steal a bunch of things. Man, we only ever have enough keys to do one thing or the other. Thorns all full. I think we're good. All right, let's talk to these three. My son, glad you're here. It seems this ass right here has been waiting for you to arrive before beginning. What a pity your mother isn't here for the conference. Mm -hmm. I hope I'll be able to see her before I leave. You never Still know. A very important letter to give to her. Look at this guy eyeballing me. You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. Whatever. I'm going to talk to someone else. Hey, what up, Peru, my boy? I don't know if you ever found what you were looking for in the garden. 
But Mortimer is waiting for you. I suggest you get a move on. You say it as if you were afraid of him. Um... I sense that you have things you'd like to say, but something's holding you back. What is going on between you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. The siren song, Monsieur de Richet. You wake up one morning, not knowing where you are, and you think about everything you've done for a man who wasn't even worth it. For a man who has no respect for you, who uses you, and who drops you as soon as he no longer needs you. For me, it's too late now. But you, you still have a choice. Don't respond to his call, sir. He keeps saying that all the time, too. He's like, you still have a chance. Cool. Got carbonite water. Okay, we already talked to them. Let's go over here and talk to this guy. For oh wait. Nope. Already done. Ah, Louis. I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Nope. We're about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly. But what do you expect of me exactly? My mother's the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin. You say my mom is gone forever? Official to the order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry. You are not alone, Louis. Very well. Um, in concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume. Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. Oh, damn. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if huh. the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis. To I take over the world. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our oh, desire dear. is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. They just trying to play God. Hmm, let's see. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Except he's been alive for like 600 years. Do you this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Ooh. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited. But as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Holy crap. Uh... Louis, let me keep you a moment. Yes. He's gonna stab me right in front of everybody. 
Uh, I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin. Because I'm going to need your assistance. Oh crap, he wants you me see, to swing the boat. The project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the assembly for it to become French. Well, uh oh. Uh, My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. Yeah. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. Uh, but why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, they would never sign. Manuel Godoy is perfectly aware of President Washington's appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, Godoy would know full well that he will have lost the entire North American continent. Things must take place in several stages. Oh. Otherwise, the change will be too brutal, and he will have no choice but to reject the project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Uh-oh. Yeah, I guess I caught that one too, Joe. Illuminating. <laughs> Illuminati. Friends, I propose we get started. Confirmed. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, we ask are yes, all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet, who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur I de hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel. You're Kiss not my going ass. to spoil our visit. The order's mission was not to protect King Louis the Sixteenth, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake. It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive. Where the hell were you during all this? Um... Let's put Godoy in his place. I'm sorry about the fate of the King of France, Duke Manuel. However, I'm surprised at your remark. How can a man like me have changed the course of things where a man like you, powerful, capable of influencing international politics, was unable to do any better? Oh! Begin. <laughs> Eat a dick, buddy. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other. More now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. Don't you worry. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, 
I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good Better fellow. boots. What? I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I am not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Um... Duke, these savages, as you call them, were there before you. They are on their homeland. As much as the black people of Africa, Monsieur de Richet. That does not stop your dear France from massacring them and sending them like cattle to Mr. Washington's cotton plantations to provide him with cheap labor. So you keep your morals to yourself, if you please. Senor, oh. I would not like to be associated with that. The subject of black slaves in the United States of America is a complex subject, which we shall resolve at a future date. Uh, the filthy swine. Uh, it obviously doesn't stop you from sleeping at night. Not in the least. Oh! Do not imagine <laughs> I have anything against the American Indians or the blacks. That is not the question. But business is business. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. Man, it might as well be the likes of you who rule. Is that right? But of course. Come now, my friend. Let us not digress. Anyway, and these primitive people have no souls, Louis. Oh, damn. You bring the good word to them in order to save them. You'll see. Colonization brings with it many benefits, too. Uh, excuse me. If you don't mind, Your Eminence, uh, I shall continue. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protégé. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Uh, it would protect you from the Americans or it would protect you from the British. Um. Wait, 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 wait. What's his, uh... What the hell is it? Uh, right there. Immunity is etiquette. If I were you, Senor Godoy, I would think twice before stirring up a scandal. I beg your pardon? Given the size of your colonies, you won't be able to keep them for long. A number of countries are eyeing them as we speak. The United States would have no trouble taking them. For all intents and purposes, you have no army in place. By wanting to keep everything, you risk losing it all, especially your colonies in South America, yeah. which are far more valuable to you. That is indeed the danger, Duke Manuel. If it comes to war over Louisiana, you will lose, and probably a good deal more than you now imagine. Young man, you are indeed a dark horse, aren't you? I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. How I so? I you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, 
I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Damn, almost missed Am I that one. Imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? Oh boy. If France took the Papal States, their opinion over the sale of Louisiana would be definitely resolved. Good Lord. You are talking of an invasion of Italy. Don't take it the wrong way, Your Eminence. Colonization brings with it many benefits. You'll see. Very funny, Monsieur de Richer. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. All the crap, did he just curse me? Hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. Oh. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher einen Emily. Nie Preußen wird diese Feierbarung akzeptieren. Uh oh. Here it comes. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volman looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are grave times. <laughs> we don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Holm, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's <laughs> it. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur de Richer? Come, Gregory. I think Louis would rather stay. Uh oh. You? you want to stay with Mortimer? Or you want to go with the hot crew? <laughs> oh, dude. Well, at least we'd have three, four people in dresses. We're pretty close to it. Go with Mortimer. As for me, I think I shall remain with Lord Mortimer, Sir Gregory. You are committing a grave error, Louis. Time will tell. Oh, snap. My friends, I would like to thank you for staying. Good God, William. What is this I hear about you reinforcing military power in Louisiana? I have no interest in having France for a neighbor, and you know that very well. Calm down, George. Louis, explain our plan to Mr. Washington, please. My pleasure. Um... You see, Mr. President, Lord Mortimer anticipates that once France obtains Louisiana, they will cede it to you. What do you mean? To us? The United States? Yeah, yeah right. But I... Uh, President Washington, the United States will double in size. By what miracle have you... You need to expand, George. You and France are the two major democracies in the modern world. It is necessary that you both become superpowers. Are you really going to sponsor democracy throughout the world? Of course, Monsieur Peru. That's why I don't want Spain to get too attached to those weapons. Uh, please continue, Louis. Explain my vision to Mr. President. 
All right, here it goes. Um, By going through France, Spain won't suspect that it's you who's going to take possession of Louisiana. Right. They'll even believe that France will be a protective buffer between itself and California and you on the East Coast. If Senor Godoy was afraid that you might take the territory by force, now he's reassured. You would never attack France. But why didn't you tell me before? Uh... Yeah. So that Lord Mortimer would appear to be isolated without support. Exactly. You got it, Louis. Lord Mortimer retains the advantage by advancing undercover. And for it to work, he needed you to act surprised. William, you haven't changed. <laughs> Always one step ahead. One step ahead? You're joking. More like five. On that note, my friends, it's getting... <laughs> More like five. <laughs> Mr. President, continue to take offense over my project when we resume the conference in the morning. You do it to a T. And if Sir Gregory has nice. the capacity to send you an emissary to convince you to go against me, do me a favor. String him along if you can. The more they believe we are divided, the more we'll have our hands free. Only too happy to oblige. Nice. Now, let us get some rest. We've got a big day tomorrow. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Louis, if you have a minute, I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm uh -oh. going to require your services. How can oh, I dude, not again. My Tell knees hurt. All about it. Our adversaries are many, and the closing vote of the conference will soon be upon us. Time is of an essence. Mm -hmm. So, I'll need you to assist me this evening. How can I help? I need you to go this very evening to persuade Senor Godoy to join us. He is the backbone of Gregory's resistance. Turn him round. And all the others will follow in such a stampede that Gregory will be able to do nothing but admit defeat. Lord Mortimer, with all due respect, don't you think I'm the last person Godoy wants to talk to? I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Lord Mortimer, you're yeah, not we're going with that one. Thing. Let's say I wouldn't disapprove if the right honorable, though nonetheless choleric Duke Manuel put you in his bad books. If it could motivate him to declare war on France, it would greatly serve our interests. War? What do you mean? I told you before the conference. The more we distract Spain from the Americas, the less it will have an eye on Louisiana. But all the same, we're talking about a war in Europe. Don't worry. That's why Mr. Bonaparte is with us. I am convinced we'll be perfectly capable of managing the conflict. And Senor Godoy is not a great soldier. He will not commit Spain to a long war that he won't be capable of managing. I'll go straight away. Thank you, my boy. And get some rest afterwards. Big day tomorrow. No, I'm not getting any rest, man. I'm going to Emily's room. She wanted me there before. I'm going to go again. Hell yeah. Is there any more goodies? Where the hell did all the chairs go? Trying to find that one, uh, I thought we had like a little chest or something up here. Did he find out about the bird yet? Nope. Nobody knows. What else? I guess that's it. Should I talk to him? Nope. I guess we have to go back downstairs. Maybe we got that chest. I don't know. Whatever. So can we do stuff in here now? Oh. Weird. 
Everything is really dark. Watch, my mom's gonna jump out and scare the crap out of me, I bet. No. Weird. Dante's Paradise. Oh yeah, we already Raise heard that like 6,000 times. What comes I know. Here in the mortal world quiet. Okay, good boy. Volner. Where is good boy? What the hell is this? Hey, she's gone. All right, good. Okay, hey, what's that? All right, I've retrieved everything. Well, yeah, I guess we could kind of go back to every room and pick up all the stuff we keep leaving behind. Okay, now where? President George Washington. Nope. Not him. Yaji, and then me, and then Godoy. Ah, Monsieur de Richet. What? Uh, you wouldn't have seen Duke Manuel by any chance. Well, you want to kill him? I was going to ask you the same question. Mm -hmm. I wanted to speak to him, but no one will open the door. Uh -oh. I'm not sure he's in there. If I want to pass through, I'll have to get Volner out of the way. Uh I've searched all over the manor, but I can't find him. You go find somewhere else. For sure, Monsieur de Richet. He's neither in his room nor on this floor. I've just looked all over. I propose we both look for him. The first to find him tells the Duke that the other is also looking for him. Agreed? Perfect. Let's do that. I shall have a look in the library. If you find the Duke before me, tell him I want to speak to him. Yes. Of course. Let's proceed as you say. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Monsieur de Richet. Yeah, all your idea, dude. Totally up to you. Right. Now be a good boy and go look somewhere else. <laughs> nice. Oh, I gotta love that. All right, so here we are, hidden in this room after the big meeting. We need to try to convince Mr. Godoy how much of a good boy he can be for us and our little army. But we're going to find that out on the next episode and live stream, because I'm ending it right now. We've been streaming for like, I don't know, four hours or some crap like that? Three hours? I don't know, but it's been a long time. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you're still enjoying this. I am really enjoying it. I'll probably stream it again tomorrow, and we'll finish off episode three anyways, and then hopefully it uh, doesn't take too long for episode four to come out. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Take care.